اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین السلاة والسلام على رسوله الكریم نبینا محمد خاتم الانبیاء والمرسلین صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل لکتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی My very very dear Quran course fellows السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I welcome you all to the Quran course 1, level 1, understand Al-Quran the easy way. And in its lesson number 18, first inshallah we'll do part A and then part B. And I congratulate you all for learning the book of Allah. Uh, we have Alhamdulillah already completed the entire Salah, its translation. And now we are moving forward in the last class we learned about what is the purpose of revelation of Quran? In this class, moving forward, inshallah, we are going to learn that learning of Quran is easy. And it's not that I am saying it, uh, and it's not that somebody else is saying it, but the one who had sent this Quran says the same in this Quran in Surah Al Kamar and says it repeatedly that learning of this book has been made easy. But of course, we have to do little effort for it. Uh, and then also in the words of the Prophet, peace be upon him, that how learning of this book, learning and teaching of this book is the best things to be done. And then inshallah, after having learned it today, uh, so today inshallah, we'll cover one part of uh, an ayah, two uh, ahadiths. And in the grammar part, we are going to learn some very interesting new actions. So you've been doing lots of actions. So today, inshallah, we'll do the action for file. File, the one who is doing something. Waful, the, the object or some, somebody on which the action is happening. Waful, fail, the action itself. Okay. So for all the afal which we have already done, for example, fa'ala, Fataha, Nasara, Falaka. We have also done their Mudare, like Fa'ala, Yaf'alu, and we have also done Amr Banahi, Ifal, La Tafal. And today, inshallah, we are going to add uh, three more Siga to the table file, the section, as if you are giving to somebody. So do it with me. You'll like it right in the beginning. So you remember when the grammar part comes, you all do it with me. File, maful, fail. Okay, very nice new actions. Anyways, then we have a beautiful learning tip for today. How should we invite somebody? Uh, and how should we invite our brain for something? So in this lesson, inshallah, we learn 14 new words which appear in Quran almost 898 times. And I would like to remind us all again that our purpose and basic reason of doing this course is to improve our interaction and our relationship with the Book of Allah. And if you want to do this, I'll urge you that after every class, you open the book and you try to see whatever you have learned, where do you find it in the Quran? And inshallah, that will make it much more easier for you, sustainable, and will go the long way in your learning of the book, inshallah. So let's move forward and I hope you are also studying the previous lessons and by this time I'll start reminding you uh, repeatedly to please complete your previous homeworks if you have still not done that, the homeworks which you do online and also your workbook because we are, we are uh, nearing the completion of the course. You still have time in case you have not done your workbook. In the last class, I announced it and some of you have uh, requested for the soft copy of the workbook. If you have still not done it, I'll, uh, I'll advise you and urge you and request you to complete your workbook because workbook, you know, even uh, uh, somebody was telling me uh, that because I've started doing workbook, I'm learning grammar better now. So that's what the workbook will do. Uh, so let's move forward and see what we are going to do today. Inshallah, today, by the end of this lesson, we would have achieved our 222 words vocabulary list, 
which appears in Quran 40,469 times. Alhamdulillah, we are already ahead of the target of learning 50% words of Quran. And in the next class tomorrow, we will inshallah be able to complete our, uh, achieve our target of 40,000 plus words appearing in Quran with the help of this course. Now, <clears throat> you remember, we studied in the last class, the purpose of the revelation of Quran is, number one, pondering over its verses, Arabic verses. That's the, so necessary to understand the Quranic Arabic. You, you, you may say, I can read a translation, but remember, no translation can be equal to the, an, an understanding of the Arabic text. You know, in any language, in any language, I don't know what language backgrounds you come from, maybe an African language or English or French or German or Urdu. I come from an Urdu and a Punjabi language background. <clears throat> we know it that, you know, expression for a language cannot be translated into another language properly. So these are ordinary language. How could Quran, the beautiful uh, text of Allah, be translated into any other language with its real essence. Now, I'm, I have chosen an example from Urdu. Uh, I don't know how my brothers and sisters from different countries feel, but in Urdu, we say, kaise kaise, aise vaise ho gaye. Aise vaise, kaise kaise ho gaye. Now, if I have to translate it, and I have to explain it to people, these two lines, probably I, I I cannot do it the way they are. These are beautiful in their reading in poetic verses and the rhyming. And then the message within these short words cannot be explained in many words. There's beauty, there is power, there's balance, there's depth, selection of the words, you know, and then their rhyming, as I said. If this cannot be translated, imagine how can we ever translate Quran? So, in one way, even if you read 100 translations, we would not have read Quran in the real sense. The Quran is Arabic Quran only. We need to understand, we need to develop that level, that ability. But it does not mean that I'm saying, or we are negating the importance of reading Quranic Arabic text. Uh, one of the hadith says, you know, there are 10 rewards for each letter which you recite. And Alif, Lam, Mim are three letters. So, so you know, there's lots of reward for that. Uh, we are not decreasing the value of any translation. It is rather good. Translation can help us connect to the book quickly. So whatever language you understand easily, read the translation. But we will actually learn Arabic through the translation. So our purpose is translation, uh, uh, Arabic. Translation is not the destination. Estimation is when you pick up a Quran without any translation, for example, this is a book, this is the Quran in Arabic uh, text. And if I look at it, and if I see, Yat aziruna ilaykum iza rajatum ilayhim, I should understand its meanings. And that's the beauty of it. You know, any book in the world which you read and you don't find any meanings, I think you won't find any interest in it. But once you know, Oh, oh great, I can understand. So, so, Azim. So, this is the greatest of the of the success. So, once you know the meanings, you'll be happy. You'll understand what is being said. What is the greatest success? What is Allah announcing as, as the success? So, uh so the, the special effects of Arabic verses are there. It's like a spiritual vault, voltage. It changes the hearts, it changes the minds. So we definitely need to uh, uh, read them as well, verses and surahs, as I said, and words for each. So <clears throat> we, we, we can get the, you know, the sort of uh, message of Quran in the translation, but to ponder it, to to go deeper in it, we need to learn Arabic. So it's a blessing from Allah that Allah has made it very easy and Allah has announced it in the Quran that we have made it easy uh, as far as the basic understanding is concerned. In Surah Kamr, uh, Surah Kamr, and 
four times Allah says وَلَكَدْ يَسْرَنَّ الْقُرْعَانَ لِلْزِكْرِ فَحَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ Since we have to do the only this part of the uh, verse, so I'm only uh, using this part for you. وَلَقَدْ يَسْرَنَّ الْقُرْعَانَ لِلْزِكْرِ No. وَلَقَدْ First thing is, wa la kad. I think you all know the meanings of this now. So please let me know the meanings of wa. You all know the meaning, so we should have. Uh, one of my sisters is saying there's some problem in listening. I, do you all, am I clear enough? Can you, am I audible? I Okay, so let me know the meanings of Who will let me know the meanings of wa? What does wa mean? And. And. And, excellent. And last stands for? Indeed. Indeed. You remember? Plus stands for indeed. Lakad for indeed. So, Lakad. Alrighty. MashaAllah. Okay. Wonderful. So, Walakad is and indeed already. So, in a way, when something important is being said, for emphasis, Walakad and indeed. So, Qad appears in Quran 406 times. It means when I open the book, I should start looking for it. And once I uh, have done it probably five, six, seven times, forever in my memory, it will stay there. The meanings of Qad. Wala Qad. And already indeed. So, yes, sir. Qad Kamat is Salah is another example for you to remember the meaning of Qad. Salah is already established. We have already done it when we did the uh, azan and kama. La qad. La is indeed qad already. The next word is yes sir na. Yes sir na. Made it easy. We. We have made it easy. Yes sir na. We have made easy. Yes sir na. Uh, I don't know whether it is the practice at your place or not, but here in Pakistan normally when we go to the mosques, when the little, little ones go to the mosque for learning Quran, so normally uh, Kari, uh, you know, these uh, Qurra, Kari Saban, they would uh, uh, start with uh, first uh, this uh, invocation Rabbi Yassir Wala Duhassir So, uh, the same word Yassir and Duhassir is there So, Yassir Na, we have made easy, comes Yusr, Yusr is easy Usr is difficult Us is difficult uh, uh, we very commonly use this word usrat in Urdu, uh, which means a difficult life. Somebody is living a very difficult life. So yusr and usr. Yes, sir, na. Na is the same na. Yes, sir, na. We have made easy. So Allah is saying, indeed, Allah is saying with emphasis that indeed we have made it made easy. What has Allah made easy for us? Al-Quran. So yes, sir, na. We made easy. Al-Quran. Now let's look at the, the uh, little meaning of Qur'an. That which is recited often. Al-Qur'an. That which is recited often. And the name of Qur'an itself is a miracle. Yes, it is recited often. Rather, according to uh, Encyclopedia Britannica, Qur'an is the most read book in the world. So it's not that we claim this. Rather, non-Muslims also know this. Al-Quran is the most read book and most repeatedly read book in the world. So Allah has made it easy. Allah is saying we have made it easy. For what? Lizikr. Li and Azikr. Li and Azikr. Li is for. 
Now, li has different, you, you remember the different meanings of la, li. So the la, which comes in conjunction with lahu, lahum, laka, li, meanings by for, this li. What, but the la, which has come with walaqad, means already, indeed, for emphasis. There is another li. Can somebody recall that? The third li in the previous uh, week, in the last class, we have learned it, about it. Let's see who gets the 10 marks for, uh, 10 bonus marks for letting me know the third li and its meanings. Anyone? Inna lillahi wa rajiun. Inna lillahi wa ilahi rajiun. So that's... Okay, for that, yes, yeah. yes, sister. For so that. So that, yes, that is another meaning of li. So that, excellent. The one which we which we studied, wali yatazakkara, wali yadabbaru, li. Li yatazakkara, li yadabbaru. That was another li. But this li, that has come with a verb. This has come with an noun okay like like lillahi for allah lizik for to understand and remember so you have already done zakara he remembered yes guru from there it becomes a zikr and inshallah inshallah today you learn alhamdulillah it's very interesting today you learn how these nouns are formed with the help of verb so that's going to be an interesting thing today so let's zik. So Allah has made it easy to understand and remember. Allah has made Quran easy to understand and remember. Now, zikr has two meanings. Understand, remember. So we have learned this meaning, he remembered. So understanding is also zikr. Let's look at it. Now, Allah has made it easy. Allah says, uh, this book is uh, read often. I, I have already given you example of encyclopedia. So it is easy for learning, practicing, advising others and, you know, understand it well so that you learn its style, arguments, stories. And then with the help of it, you know, uh, sort of uh, we understand its proofs which it, it provides and then we could, you know, propagate it to others, right? Uh, so now onwards, we will never say that Quran is difficult to learn. Okay? Because Allah is saying it's easy. How can we say it is difficult? If we say this, we will contradict this ayah. May Allah forgive us. Now, please everybody let me know. Are we, do you understand this? Are we going to say it now that the Quran is easy to understand? Because Allah says it. And remember, if we find it difficult, the problem is with us. Actually, we have never given it time anything which we do in life you give some time to it nothing is automatic in this world even if i have to have this water i have to extend my hand i have to bring it to me and then i have to drink it you know it won't just go straight into me so allah has made this life uh, you know sort of where we have to do some effort for something as uh, quran says laysa insana illa ma sa'a so we will get if we'll, if we'll do an effort for it. So each one of us, we have to give it time. We have to do some effort. We have to give our energies, probably money, abilities. And then inshallah, we will learn. Allah has made it easy. So once you start walking towards Allah, Allah runs towards its uh, you know, its creatures, its uh, followers. So let's start walking all of us, inshallah, and we will find the amazing results. Quran is easy to understand, easy to take lessons. Allah, can, Allah watches us. Uh, but we will not mix it with the fiqh or legal issues. Of course, that is the work of the scholars, but we will, inshallah, for our basic understanding, it's very easy. Now it's your time. Have a look at the ayah.
Alhamdulillah. So, yes, sir, no. A, B, C, D. Give me the answer. B. Excellent, brother. Excellent. Yeah, B. We have made it. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Let's move forward to the a beautiful saying of the Prophet, rather a guarantee. And, you know, once we know this hadith, I think we find the formula for success in our life to be the best amongst human beings. As the Prophet of Allah is saying, Khairukum man ta'allam al Quran wa allamahu. Khairukum. You know the meaning of it. Khairukum. Khair, you have already done. As salatu khairum in a Better, best. Kum, amongst you. Kum, you all. You know, ka, kum, you have already done. Who, kum, ka, ye, kum. Now, so kum, khairukum, the best of you, the best amongst you, khairukum, okay, khairukum, best of you, man, you know the two meanings of man, one is the question word, another one is conjunction, joining word, so in English there are many examples like, like we say, who are you, and we say, I am the one who is teaching Quran, so we know the two meanings of man, uh, man Rabbuka, by the way, what, what will be your answer if I ask you? Man Rabbuka. Be Allah. MashaAllah. When we will be asked this question, Man Rabbuka, we will be able to inshallah answer in Arabic, Rabbi Allah. And we will have an understanding that we are saying it. So these are the additional benefits of the course that we are doing so much. And when we will be asked, Ma Deenuka, we'll say Deeni Al Islam. So Man, one meaning, Man, that other meaning. Now you can keep this example in mind. Khairukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allamahu. Okay. So this is the example where man comes as a conjunction word. In the, now the context teaches you what meanings of man you can use here. Next is ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allamahu. There are two words. Ta'allama. Ta'allama means learned. Learned. And allama taught. Now these two are the madi expressions. Ta'allama and allama. So to remember them, there are some tips. For example, one could be ta'allama. Uh, First we learn, then we teach. So in hadith, the word ta'allama comes first. So we learn first. And allama comes later, so we teach later. First we learn, then we teach. Another easy way to remember could be, you know, in alphabetical order, ta comes first. And I'm comes later, and first comes teaching, uh, learning, and then comes teaching. Okay, so whatever way you find easy to remember their meanings, just use that for yourself. So Taallam al Qurana learns the Quran, wa'allamahu, and teaches it. Khairukum man Taallam al Qurana, wa'allamahu, allamahu. So these are two joint words. Allamahu teaches it. Teaches what? By the way, what does this who stand for? The, the Quran. Quran. Al Quran, Alhamdulillah, mashallah. So, this is another way in Quran. Remember, many a times you'll find uh, these uh, detached and attached pronouns will point to some other uh, noun, towards another noun. So, we have to understand that. Ta'allama, allama. So, ta'allama, we receive, we learn. Allama, we give, we teach. So these are the two meanings. Khairukum man ta'allam al Quran wa allamahu. Now the Prophet of Allah is giving a guarantee that you know the best amongst you is the one who learns Quran and teaches it. And as a learning, the student comes first. So you all have a great honor that your name has come first in the hadith. So being a student of that's why I always say I'm always a always and we are all a student of Quran. So khairukum man ta'allam al-Quran wa allamahu. And inshallah, I'm sure many of you, inshallah, will be teaching it. And I will say, start teaching it. Even if you teach one word to somebody to qualify this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu that learn Quran and teach Quran. So these two are the conditions for learning it. So there is no end to the learning of this book. Keep learning. You can enjoy your whole life, inshallah, opening, revealing, the beauty of Quran, the words of Allah, it's 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 greater than the universe. So it also means that the best person is the one who does both, right? 
whatever we learned so far, it is easy to teach. You can go and teach others very easily. For example, if I ask you, can you write at least two names whom you will teach? At least make an intention, write two names in the chat box or with you that these are the two people you will start teaching. Hurry up, comes as a challenge for all of you. And the moment you think of two names, inshallah, Allah will start adding reward to you for, for making this intention, for deciding, inshallah, you are going to teach Quran to others around you. It could be your brother, sister, father, mother, children, grandchildren, grandchildren, could be your friends, colleagues, neighbors, um, your servants. And yesterday in one of the class, one of our uh, students, she was sharing that she has started going to the old home and teaching the uh, this Quran course to the old people there. MashaAllah, Brother Naveed has taken the lead and he has written, he is going to teach his wife and son. Best thing, you know, best is to teach your family first. As Allah says in Quran, save yourself and your family from the hellfire. So, MashaAllah, Brother Naveed, you have taken the lead. Alhamdulillah. So I will invite each one of you to please think of at least one, the two names, keep it in mind and start teaching them. So right now, millions of people might be attending different classes around the world. Okay. But the best in the sight of Allah is the class where Quran is being taught because Prophet of Allah says, Khairukum man ta'allam al-Quran of Allah. MashaAllah, Brother Asrar is ready to teach uh, his wife and son. Alhamdulillah, nothing better than that. So you might have attended lots of classes in school, colleges, universities, but no class is similar to learning Quran because this is the best in the sight of Allah. So it's not just learning and reading it, but understanding it, pondering over it, knowing more about it. And remember, uh, you know, the Prophet of Allah is also sent as a teacher. So we will try to learn it the way Sahaba learned it. Everything, every every part of it, Arabic letters, words, uh, right pronunciation. Um, we will not stop, inshallah. We'll keep on learning. And actual learning, learning its meanings, understanding it, practicing it, bring it in our life. So you get 30 seconds to look at this. Khairukum man ta'allam al Quran wa allamahu. Inshallah. You can even also memorize it quickly. Right. Inshallah. MashaAllah. Sister Kafaya is saying she's going to teach uh, somebody Abdul Hakim and her children. MashaAllah. Great. No, this is. Wallamahu. A, B, C, D. What is the right answer? Mashallah. Hey. Brother Kamran is very active and takes lead on, uh, you know, uh, on responding to me. Hey. Brother Dumba, Amar, Sister Rahima. Yeah, please, everybody should, you should interact. You know, that makes me also alive and gives me an idea that everybody sitting here is active. Yeah. And teaches it. Learning the Quran means. A, B, C, D. So, give a careful answer. Okay. There might be multiple right answers here. MashaAllah. Sister Pansa, Brother Dumba, Sister Sufi. Yeah. All of them are right. Excellent. The Prophet ﷺ taught the Quran by what was the Prophet's method of teaching Quran? A, B, C, D. All. Yeah, all. Exactly. He was all. preaching it, practicing it, explaining it, and reciting it. Doing yeah. all four. Alhamdulillah. Okay. The best person is the one who A, B, C, D. Which one is the right? C. C. MashaAllah. Si. Yeah. As per the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Khairukum man ta'allam al-Qur'ana ta'allamahu. 
So let's take another hadith. When we start learning Quran, when we are on the journey towards understanding Quran, what should be our, you know, protector? So with the help of another hadith, let's learn that. That is our intentions, purified intentions. As the Prophet of Allah says, for the very first word, innama. Innama will not be broken down. It is a combined word. It cannot be br broken down as inna or ma. No, please remember this. So innama. Inna, innama means only. Only and only. Right? When we have to, uh, again for emphasis and on focusing something, we use, we use this English expression. Only and only. I will go. Right. So only and only I can do. So in Nama only. In Nama. Now, which other words come to your mind with this in Nama? Which words uh, similar to it you have learned? You have learned in, in, inshallah. It means if, if, okay. Like in the example of in. Similarly, we have learned in uh, Inna means indeed, hundreds of times in Quran. So in, if, inna, indeed, and innama, only. Innama, only. So now you, you have three words, in, inna, innama, almost 2,000 times in Quran. So innama al-amal in, uh, only. Uh, Amal. Amal is the plural of Amal. Amal is, you have also done the table of Amila. He acted. So Amal is a um, singular of it is Amal, which is a noun. And with Alif Lam, you can identify Amal actions. Okay. So Bin Niyat. So Niyat is on the pattern of from Ayat to Ayat. And niya, singular, with gold ta, cir uh, circular ta. You know, this, when we move it away, we add alif ta and it becomes a plural. Same was the case when we learned about aya and ayat, right? So, aya and ayat, niya and niya, plural of niya, niyat. Binniyat can be broken down into two parts, B and Anniyat. So you can also break it down into, you must know at least that this is B, this can be separated and Anniyat. So actions are based on intentions. Actions are based on intentions. So it is very, very important saying of the Prophet peace be upon him. Whatever we do, we should do it for the sake of Allah. There is, there is a famous saying of the Prophet that the three people will be brought on the day of judgment and Allah will say, put them into the hellfire, put, put them into the hell. They will say, oh Allah, we have, been, we have been doing all this for you. One of them will be the reciter of Quran, teacher of Quran. Allah will say, put him also into the hellfire. Why? Because he was only doing it to show off to the others, not for me. So my dear brothers and sisters, let's have very purified intentions that we are learning Quran and we will teach it for the sake of Allah only. Because Allah loves it. Because the Prophet of Allah said, man al -Quran al The best amongst you is the one who teaches and learns Quran. So we don't want to show off to others, but we want them to learn and understand the book of Allah and come towards Allah. So we will inshallah teach it and learn it to please Allah only, and learn it to understand practice it. And remember, 90% Muslims in the world, and they are in billions now, Muslims are more than 1 billion, 1 billion, uh, 1.4 billion in the world. So except the Arabs, a few of them, let's say if I put them aside, so still there will be a billion Muslims who do not understand Arabic and they do not understand Quran directly. We have a responsibility who have been blessed with 
this understanding of Quran, to teach it to them, to make it clear to them, make them understand this book. So you have a huge audience, you have a huge market where you can operate and you can teach them and you can earn hasanat and you can be certified, guaranteed certi certified by the Prophet of Allah. So do pray for you, for me and we should pray for each other. May Allah give us purified intentions. As the actions are based on intentions. Alhamdulillah. So in inna innama, see it comes in Quran 2370 times. The three of them in if, in na, indeed, in nama only. That's why I have put these slides again so that you remember them. And when you open Quran, you can improve your interaction with it. For example, I've just opened it. Uh, this is just 12, uh, Surah 11, Ud, Aya 103. It starts with Inna. So you see, Inna is there. Uh, similarly, as I keep moving, I see inna again. I see inna who. Inna has come in, in conjunct conjunction with who. So, so the, the fine it is, it is again there. Wainna is again there. It's so many times in Quran. Walakad is there, which we have studied today. So, you that's what I'm trying to tell you. When you are learning this course, you should start applying it. Inna anzal nafi laylatul qad. But Alhamdulillah. Innama A B C D. C. 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 Only and only. Innama. Some recitals of the Quran will be thrown into the hellfire because of their A B C D. C. 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 Excellent. Yes. Wrong intentions. Alhamdulillah. Well done. So, one minute break. If you have any questions, most welcome. Then we will do the grammar part. Yes, Brother Ahmad. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I have a question which is in fact not related to today's uh, course, but to the previously we did. You know, so uh, like uh, the difference between uh, tasbih and hamd, you know, like a tasbih is, we say subhanallah and then hamd also we praise Allah. So, how do you really differentiate the two things? Okay. Uh, yes, brother. Uh, you, you, you said, uh, should I differentiate again? Tasbih and hamd? Differentiate between tasbih and hamd. Okay. Tasbih let... and then hamd is alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me give you a worldly example to understand it better. Let's say I have this cell phone, okay? Now, if I have to sell it to you, if I have to sell this phone to you, uh, there can be different ways of selling it. One way could be I tell you, you know, uh, I say, you know, it has a very powerful battery. And I say, it has lots of memory. So, this is also one way of appreciating and praising its qualities. Okay. Another way could be you ask me, uh, you know, what if it, it falls down? So I'd say it does not break. And I say, even if, if it is dropped into the water, it does not get affected. Now, these are also qualities of the cell phone, but it is in a, a different way of praising. I am saying, it does not have these weaknesses. Okay. Similarly, when we say tasbih, we say Allah is purified. Allah is exalted. Allah has no weaknesses. Allah does not sleep. Allah does not 
fear anybody. Allah does not do anything wrong. Allah uh, is not weak. Allah does not need children. So Allah is free from all defects, all weaknesses, all deficiencies. This is also one way of praising Allah. Another way of praising Allah is saying, Alham, for example, this is putting his qualities in this way. Allah is strong. Allah is the mightiest of all. Allah gives uh, uh, livelihood to everybody. Allah controls us. Allah rules on everything. So this is also one way of praising Allah. Okay. I hope you uh, understand it and I could clarify it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to an extent, you know, uh, the reason being uh, uh, what I see is mainly is Subhanallah means uh, we are in, we are uh, glorifying Allah, you know, we are talking about his, uh, all his merits, all his merits, okay. And when we say Alhamdulillah, because normally you see in even doing, if we do say, okay, I, I had an intent to give my exam and I did a very nice, then I say Alhamdulillah, you know, also praising Allah, but at the same time, it is also a shukar, uh, you know, a yeah. notion of shukrana. So I personally think that, you know, I don't know, I may be wrong, yeah, that uh, when we say Alhamdulillah, we, our intent is more towards shukar. Whereas when we say Subhanallah, we are sort of, uh, we are defining the stature of Allah, you know, we are defining the greatness and his power, as you are saying, you know, that he, he is the ultimate, his ultimate uh, power. And when we say Alhamdulillah means, okay, we have, I mean, this is with the help of Allah, but uh, we, are, we are being thankful that he has uh, bestowed this or he has in fact, uh, helped me in achieving this or helped me in, you know, like even, even like uh, as it is written in these books that uh, every body cell of ours and everything, you know, the way he's running the, uh, the sun, the moon and everything. So uh, I, I was thinking to that, my notion. So I was just trying to sort of check with you. Yeah. How, how do you, how do you feel, you know, like the understanding, like the shukr, is more related to Alhamdulillah, whereas the glorifying Allah is more related to Subhanallah. So, so in Tasbih, we are talking His uh, greatness, and in uh, Hamd, we are talking uh, whatever bounties He has given to us. You know, it's the bounties that we enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, brother, actually, you're absolutely right. I think earlier we also explained it. Uh, this is what is the philosophy of the two. Then, in Subhanallah, definitely we glorify Allah with a sense yeah. that, you know, remember, both have direct connection to our life. We have to bring them in practice. So the practice of bringing Subhanallah in life is when something wrong, which in my understanding is wrong for me, happens to me, I should say no. I should remain satisfied to the glory of Allah. Yeah. And yes, you're right. When we come to the Hamd, as the meaning of Hamd also uh, contains both, you know, we say praise and thanks to Allah. So yeah. in, in that way, you're very right. Uh, since, sorry, time is short, I'll just sure. move forward. No, no, Brother I understand. Im okay. Yeah. Brother Imam has written something. Uh, I'm so excited with what you said about Quran class. That is the best Quran of the six Jazakallah, Brother Imam, for your kind uh, words. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm also very happy to have you with us. Uh, and Thank you for your kind words. Let's move forward. A'uz billahi minash shaitan rajeem bismillah rahman rahim in the grammar part today inshallah we'll move forward with a new concept. I am very excited that we are today also revealing the new actions. Uh, you already know you have learned about noun, verb and particle meaning by fail, kharf and uh, uh, ism. Three of them and you know their meanings, you know their signs, you know the fail in Arabic are mostly composed of three letters, three letters, Fa, Ain, Lam, Fa, Ta, Ha, Na, Sara, Da, Ra, Ba. And then we know the types of verbs. They could be Madri, that which is already done, Udare, being done, will be done, Amr, Command, Imperative. This is the level of table we are reaching, inshallah. We have done the Madri part, Fa'ala, Fa'alu, Fa'al, Ta, Fa'al, Fa'al, Fa'alna. 
and i am giving you this challenge that you should be able to do it with this much of uh, you know practice and speed yafalu yafaluna tafalu wafalu tafaluna nafalu we did if al if alu la tafal la tafalu today inshallah we are adding three more to the uh, to this table uh, which is fa'il fa'il the one who does something do a fa'il action will be your right hand as if you are giving something to somebody let's say like this i am receiving file file doer maf'ool the one who is affected you know like you are receiving something okay fail fail make a punch like this and action of doing something so these are the some new actions we will learn but uh, before i come to it let's have a quick division of the uh, uh, the imperative tense we did in the last week so uh, you were also given some homework so i'll do it once and i would like somebody from you to be doing it idrib hit idribu hit you all la tadri don't hit la tadribu don't hit you all yeah who would like to do the this uh, practice once brother imtiaz please go ahead idrib hit idribu hit you all tawrib don't hit tawribu don't hit you all excellent brother la tadrib la tadrib la tawrib don't hit yeah. yeah excellent so now who will do this table you have already done it was given as a homework as well in the last uh, week so i think you all should be able to do brother tahir are you isma اسمعوا لا تسمع لا تسمعوا excellent brother jazak allah the next is table is yeah we'll do this yes brother israr Brother Iskar, please unmute yourself and do it. Sorry. Ilamu, ilamu, la ta'ilamu, la ta'ilamu. Okay. Brother Iskar, please say it with me once. Ilam, no. Ilam, ilam, ilamu, la ta'ilamu, la ta'ilamu, la ta'ilam, la. ta'lam la ta'lam excellent very good very nice to said sister raima you wanted to please do this table i'mal do i'mal do you all la ta'mal don't do la ta'mal don't bas 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 aap mujhe na yaad kar do प्लीज ये माइक अपने जरा बंद कर ले किसी के पीछे आ रही आवाज ओके एक्सलेंट सिस्टर वेरी नाइसली डन नाउ यू आल्सो नो द पैटर्न्स द स्टाइल्स ऑफ द वर्क फतह नासर दारा बाइस सामिया एंड लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड टू द टुडेस लेसन इंशाल्लाह एंड इन दिस लेसन वी एज आई सेड अर्लियर वी विल लर्न हाउ डू वी मेक नो वी वी स्टार्टेड विद द वर्ब फअला फअला ही डिड एंड देन वी मेड द मुदारे yaf'alu he does he will do if'al do if'alu do you all la ta'fal don't do la ta'falu don't do you all now we are going to make uh the ism fa'il fa'il ism fa'il do what meaning by this is a noun this is a noun maf'ul the one who is affected fail the action of doing something to do the act of doing okay file as if you are giving something with your right hand maf'ul as if you are receiving something fail making a punch and showing it fail so these are three new actions very interesting actions file maf'ul fail file doer maf'ul who is being affected fail action of doing yeah who would like to do this practice Yeah, 
I think you should be raising your hands very quickly now. At this point in time in the course, we are all Alhamdulillah. Brother Kamran, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Fail, the doer, maful, the one who is affected, fail to do. Act of Excellent. Excellent, brother. Uh, brother Iskaj. Fail to do, act, or doing. Excellent. Now, okay, I will say the Arab, Brother Imtiaz, yeah, do it. File, that is doer. Maful, the one who is affected. And fail to do or uh, act of doing. Excellent, brother. Very well done. Nicely. Uh, now, let's uh, see how do we use it now. The plurals are, you remember we did from Muslim to Muslimun. From file to filoon and fileen. So mafkulu, mafkul to mafkulun, mafkulin. It means when I say file, I can also make a plural. Fa'ileen. You can move your hand, it will be a plural action. File, fa'ileen, mafkul, mafkulin. So you can easily make their plurals also, right? File, fa'ileen, mafkul, mafkulin. It can be both ways. File, Fa'ilun, fa'ilin, maf'ul, maf'ulun, maf'ulin. You have already done in the earlier uh, uh, lessons that we can add wa'unun or ya'unun depending on what sign appears on it. Okay? So, let's move forward and see its Arabic uh, conversation. So, we are assuming and of course, alhamdulillah, here in this class, everyone is doing good deeds. So let's let's uh, accordingly say hal anta fail. Now I am asking you this question. Hal anta fail. How would you respond to me? Hal anta fail. Naam ana failun. Mashallah. Naam ana fail. Yeah, I am doing something. So I am not sitting idle. I I am doing something. I do good things. Hal antum failun. Now I am asking all of you. Hal antum failun. Nam nahnu failun. Excellent. Nam nahnu failun. Nahnu failun. All right. Beautiful. So, okay. Now let's see how can translate it quickly. Baham failun. See. And they are doers. Wahum fa'ilun. Excellent. And they are doers. Great. Let's move forward. Next is on the same pattern we'll do for Fataha. Fatih. Fatih, the opener. Maftu, the one which is open. Fat, to open. You know, in the earlier times, victory would come when the doors of a, the, the gates or the doors of a big city fort will be opened. So Fatih will be the opener of those gates. Fateh, opener. Maftu, the one which is opened. The city will become Maftu, you know, open. Fat, victory, to open. All right? Fateh, Maftu, Fat. Your time for practice. Yes, brother Imtiaz. Fateh, opener. Maftu, the one which is open. And Fatha, to open. Excellent, brother. Sister Raima. <coughs> Fate, opener. Maftu, the one which is open. Fat, the open. Excellent, sister. Brother Star. Fate opener. Maftu, the one which is open. Fata to open. Excellent, brother. Fat to open. Now, now this is beautiful Arabic conversation. Hal anta fate. Naam, anna fate. Naam, anna fate. Halil masjidul maftu. 
Now here I would like to I, I I would like to know somebody to let me know the meanings of it. Halil Masjid, Halil Masjidul Maftu. Who would translate it for us? Do you understand the meanings of it? Do you have the keys of Masjid? Yes, Masjid, masjid is open. open. Excellent. Is the is the, is yeah. the Masjid open? Yeah. Exactly. Is the mosque open? The Masjid open? Naam. Al Masjidul Maftu. Yes, the mosque is open. And mashallah, if you are getting the meanings in mind, that means we are heading in the right direction, Alhamdulillah. And we have reached this stage that we understand these. Now, answer me in Arabic. Halil Masjidul Maftu. A, B, C, D? No. A. A. Naam Al Masjidul Maftu. Excellent. Alhamdulillah. Let's move forward. Jail from Ja'ala. Jala, he made. Jail, maker. Maju'ul, that which is made. Jal, to make. Okay? Jail, maker. Maju'ul, that which is made. Jal, maker. Yes, Sister Raima, do the actions and practice. Jail, maker. Jail, maker. Maju'ul, that which is made. Jal, to make. To make. Excellent. Now, for this, the Arabic uh, jail is, yeah, you have just done it, A, B, C, D. C, to make. Jail, it is not jail. Maker, maker, Please sorry. Remember. Yeah, maker. maker. It is noun and it is maker. Excellent. So, Nasir, helper, from Nasara. He helped Nasir. Helper, Mansur, the one who is helped, Nasr. To help. So Nasir Mansur Nas. Nasir Mansur Nas. Who will do the action and uh, practice? Yes, Brother Dumba Ahmad. Nasir Helpa Mansur, the one who is helped. Nasr to help. Excellent, brother. Brother Sambo. Nasr, Papa, Mansur, the one who is helped. Nasr, help. Excellent, brother. Very nicely done. So, Hal Huwa Nasir. Hal Huwa Nasir. So, I, 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 I hope you all are understanding the meaning. Hal. Hal huwa nasir. So how would we respond? Naam huwa huwa nasir. Nasir. He is the one who is helping. You know, he is uh, nasir, the one who helps. Hal anta mansur. Hal anta mansur. Now that huwa might have helped you. So hal anta mansur. So you are saying naam ana mansur. Mansur. Alhamdulillah. So. See how these words are being used in Arabic conversation also. Now, let me know here. This is beautiful. You remember we said, Iza jaya And I told you all, we will reach a, a level when I'll explain to you how this nasr is formed. And this nas means this is, this is a noun, not a verb. Nasara is a verb, but nasir, mansur, and nasr. Nasr is a noun. Okay. So, A, B, C, D, nasrullah. See. Allah's help. See. Allah's help. Yeah, excellent. So this is a noun, remember. Allah's help. At that time, some of us were confused. They were thinking probably it's a verb or a noun. But now, Alhamdulillah, we know from this table, Nasir, Mansur, Nasr. So Nasr is a noun. Okay? Excellent. So let's come to this homework. Khalik. Creator, Mahdub, the one who is created, we all, and Hal, the creation itself. So, Hal Antum Mahlukun, Nam Nahtu Mahlukun, Alhamdulillah, Zakir, the one who remembers, Maskur, the one who is remembered. We are the Zakir, Allah is the Maskur. Zakir, Maskur, and Zikr, remembrance. Okay, so this as Zikr appeared in the ayah today. This was the zikr uh, as ism which appeared in this ayah. Okay. 
and the sign was alif lam there so alhamdulillah we have done this let's quickly come to the learning tip for today today's learning tip is how do we give invitation to our brain but before i explain it to you let me ask you if i invite you if i have to invite you and i say um okay brother uh, would you like to come to my home for uh, you know for a cup of tea if you have time sometime maybe try it. Or, or would you come would you so would you like to come on such an invitation please let me know on such a boring invitation would you like to come to my home for a, for a cup of tea of course not you would say this is this is like rather you know <laughs> not wanting me to be uh, at your home huh? but now now listen to me if i say sister come to my home for a cup of tea I, I i would really love it and you love being at my home you'll meet my wife my children they would be very excited to have you with us please do come don't say no i it will be a pleasure for us it will be an honor for us to offer you a cup of tea now tell me would you like to come or not yes definitely yes alhamdulillah so dear brothers and sisters this is the way to invite your brain for learning quran do not invite it in a way you know with with a low spirit with with a boring mood uh, telling brain you know okay we have to learn quran this is my class no the way you said no we would not like to come to a boring spiritless low voice rather we would like to come with with you know passion with energy when you are invited with love with with high spirits you would like to come similarly invite your brain invite your brain tell your brain with with passion and energy that come on you have to learn quran i have to sit i have enthusiasm in the way of allah i allah has given me an opportunity i have been blessed to learn quran and inshallah i will learn quran so tell your brain that this is my way forward invited to learn this book of allah with the best of involvement and intention and inshallah you will learn so this alhamdulillah we come to the end of the class today with the allah's uh, unlimited mercy and bounties alhamdulillah we have completed completed another class uh i will keep on saying become a teacher let's pray to allah o oh allah help us to recite understand ponder implement propagate memorize the quran the best of all the books subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik